Let me talk about Budapest a little bit as well. So why Budapest? First of all, what I would like to highlight for you, that basically Budapest was chosen three years ago, the most affordable city for international students. So as I mentioned already, that we, we are offering a Western European way of living, but still on Eastern European prices. So it's an affordable city for international students. But also in 2019, within the tourist, uh, Budapest was chosen the best European destination. So I, I can tell you by experience and, and by, by what our students basically are giving us some feedback that, that uh, they love Budapest. They really, really like Budapest. Budapest has so much to offer culturally, historically also. Let me show you just some slides, again, some photos of now of Budapest only. Basically, the first photo is by night. Why, why I put this photo? Because the, the, the majority of our population, you, you probably know we are Christians and we celebrate Christmas. I would say Christmas is the biggest uh, holiday for us and, and, and we decorate everything with lights. So even a tram that you can see on the first photo, we, we decorate with lights. And, and when many of our students, um, they really, really enjoy Christmas time as well. But of course, I'm showing you some other historical buildings. So have a, have a little bit of insight how the historical buildings, as I already mentioned, that, that historically Budapest is very rich. And of course, we are very, very famous about the thermal baths. Of course, um, I can say that, that students are, are many times not, not visiting the thermal baths because of their healing power. But at nighttime, we do host for the university some really nice uh, bed, uh, bed, bed, bed parties. So, so students can go there at the night time and meet, meet other uh, uh, students from different universities. So it, it's basically, you will be meeting probably all the international students who came to Budapest to study in Budapest. And I would like to show you some more images of Budapest, as I already mentioned, historically, how, how, how you can imagine how Budapest will look like when, when you come. And of course, we have a Budapest eye. It's very similar as London eye, but much smaller. And now, a little bit, as I highlighted why Budapest, why for international students, Budapest and Hungary, I would like to move on to Budapest Metropolitan University. But before, just can you please confirm that you can still see my slides? Yes, we can see. That Okay, perfect. Thank you for the confirmation. So why choosing Budapest Metropolitan University? I have put for you the main campus building. It's a very unique building. As you can see, the shape is exactly round. Just And just before uh, jumping to the, the programs of our university, let me tell you, um, it's important to highlight that we, we are the biggest private university on, in Hungary. We have 6,500 students. Uh, uh, within these students, 1,200 students are international students from, from all over the world, I can say. It, it, I, I put it on my slide that from 100 countries, and really we have students from, uh, from all over the world. Let me just show you um, how it looks like, where the students are coming from. Maybe it's, 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 it's not a surprise for you that the majority of the students are coming from China. But as you can see, we have students from all over the world. So if you come and study in Budapest Metro, at Budapest Metropolitan University, you will meet, you will have friends, classmates from all over the world. And this is very, very important with socializing, of course, for our students. And now let me talk a little bit about our programs. The first program I really would like to highlight for you that basically it's a partnership. We have a partnership with Northumbria University, a collaboration. What does this mean? Basically, the students can start their studies at Budapest Metropolitan University, paying the, the cheaper prices at, at Metro, Budapest Metropolitan University prices, and they have two years to decide if they would like to study, stay in, in Hungary, in Budapest, and finish their studies at Budapest Metropolitan University, or 
they shift to London campus of Northumbria University. Please remember, it's important that this option is only open for business students. So only for those who come to business program. It is an amazing opportunity. You know, I, I always say that for those students who always wanted to go to, to study in the UK, but for some reason, they couldn't. Most typical reasons, maybe financial reasons. We all know that the last couple of years, the university prices in the UK went up really high. Or it could be language barriers because of the language student could not go to, to, to study in the UK. So for them, coming to Budapest Metropolitan University can, can be a good option that basically they can start, they can even improve their English level of skills, and then they can be ready to go to the UK, they can be financially uh, stronger. It's important to mention, please keep in mind, that with this program, students can get 25% discount of the regular prices so 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 from the the flat fees of the northumbria university so it's a huge huge discount that northumbria is offering so as i mentioned after two years studying in in a, a budapest basically they can study one more year uh, in the london campus it's important that it's one more year so if you start in, in Budapest, most of the programs you will be studying two more years, but Northumbria, if after two years you will be moving to Northumbria, it's one more year, and it's not, it's, it's not a dual degree. So students will get a UK degree. It's very important to mention, okay, that this is not a dual. So let me show you the study programs of, uh, as well of the Budapest Metropolitan University. Firstly, I would like to show you the bachelor's programs, the art related. Why I am highlighting for you? Because now, of course, we are in the February intake. And for, for, for you now applying for February intake, unfortunately, we don't have art related programs. So this only starts in September. So please take into consideration. It's, it's, it's important to mention. But moving on to the business programs, we do have a February intake as well. As you can see, and I would say that business administration and management, that's why I put it on the first May place, that attracts most of the students. And as you can see, the price will be 2,500 euros per semester. And as I mentioned, there is a February intake. Uh, please, please remember that uh, students can already apply, of course, for the February intake. And of course, we have tourism and social sciences field related bachelor programs. Now let's take a look at the master's programs. I built up my presentation the same way that it's important to highlight that art related programs will start only in September. But as I just mentioned with the bachelor's programs, for the master's program, we, uh, for the business related ones, it's also we have a February intake as well. So it, it's important to, for you to remember uh, that, that, uh, that we are offering, uh, you know, the communication, media studies, management and leadership, marketing, tourism, and MBA, of course. As now we are talking about the prices and the programs, I would like to show you some, some, something very interesting that we are basically offering. We have a, a scholarship called Metu Excellence Scholarship. What does this mean? As being a private university, we only have this Metu Excellence Scholarship. This means that basically from 30 new students, we will be selected from the students, those ones that, that will get this merit-based scholarship. So being said that we are choosing the 30 new students, it basically depends, the scholarship will depend on the uh, credit, on the transcript, sorry, on the transcript of the students. Then the, the 
uh, it's very important the performance of the Skype interview. I will be talking about the Skype interview. It's basically part of the application procedure. And then, of course, we will be uh, checking their uh, the student English level skills. So please remember that during the, the application procedure, we have a Skype interview. This is very important, but I will be talking about it to you in a minute. Just shortly mentioning that, of course, we do offer dormitories. We have two contracted dormitories. As you can see on the photos, the dormitories are very lovely. And students, by experience and by feedback, they, they, they enjoy staying in the dormit. And um, what is also important to mention that by experience, most of our students, they do start at the dormitory. So, of course, later they make friends and they will move out together with, with other students to apartments. But as a start, they, they, they will start at the university dormitory. And why we also highlight and highly recommend, because, you know, but for the visa purposes, once you go for the visa interview, it will be required to have an address in uh, Hungary. And this being said, it's not easy from out from abroad contract with an apartment. You know, in Hungary, the, the owners, they would like to meet in person when they rent out an apartment. So we always highlight that please start at the dormitory. It's very safe also for the visa procedure, visa purposes. But as I, I said, it, I will be just short talking about the dormitories. Now let's have a look at the application procedure, as I just already mentioned to you that I will be talking about the Skype interview. So the required documents, the list is, is, is quite short, I, very short, I'm showing it to you. So basically, luckily, what we need is a copy of the passport and the transcripts of the student of you. So if, if we have a student who is applying for bachelor's program, then of course we will need a copy of the high school diploma, of course with the English uh, official translation, but if you are applying for a master's program, of course we will be asking for the bachelor degree and the, the final exam results and the, the transcript with English official translations. Please remember that IAD is not required. We are not requiring for you to have an IS test, but important to mention that the level of the English has to be 5.5. So this is important to remember that we will be through the Skype interview uh, checking the English level skills. We also have some limits, age limits, unfortunately. Which is is um is is strict is is quite strict. So for the bachelor's program is uh, twenty seven years old, and the master's program is thirty three years old, and and we have to be strict. Um, also, also it's because of the the visa purposes as well. Also, please remember that students cannot have failed subjects in their past studies. So so basically, you know they they should have you should have a basic knowledge of the academic program that, that you are applying to. It's very, very important. As I mentioned, let's move to the Skype interview. It's very, very important for you to know that we do have to the application process. There is four parts of the Skype interview. The first part, it, it's a two, three minutes of a warm up, you know, my colleagues will be talking to you about your hobbies, asking the, the daily life routines, a little bit about your country, about your city. So it's a warm up, getting to know, uh, you know, each other. I would say the second part is the most important part. This is the part when we would like to find out the personal motivation. So why do you want to come to Budapest Metropolitan University? You know, we, it, it, it's, a, 
we would like to find out the basic uh, academic knowledge. For example, I I'm just giving you an example. Let's say that, uh, that you would like to study business. I would just simply say, say that, uh, imagine I'm giving you a lot of money to start a new business with. Okay, so my question or my colleague question through the Skype interview would be, what kind of business would you start with the money and why? Would you rather trade goods or, or, or would you rather trade services? You know, I would ask, what are the adv advantages of, of this or that? Or let's say if you are a businessman and you are from Mumbai, what are you trading with? What, 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 what are the challenges, you know, there? So as you can see, there is no good or bad answers. It's important to remember that we are not looking for, for a good or a bad answer. Basically, we want to find out about the students should have some idea, some knowledge and understanding of the program, you know, you will be applying. And, you know, it's also important to mention that that should have also the necessary vocabulary. Why? Always very important to understand because at the visa interview, students will be, you will be asked the same interview questions. So it's very important, you know, that, that that's why we are trying to help you also getting to the visa interview. What, what can you expect through the visa interview? The third part, basically going back to the visa interview it's again about the motivation but it's 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 basically very similar questions again what at the visa interview they will be asking from you why would you like to come to hungary what do you know about hungary why do you want to study at budapest metropolitan university so we will need specific answers if the if you know, if, if we get answers like Hungary, good, Hungarian people, okay, nice. Or you know, it's 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 the vocabulary is poor. Um so so so, so we are interested, you know, in, in some unique answers, not to have limited vocabulary. We are interested in the uniqueness of, of, of uh, our students, of, of you that you are applying. And the fourth part is I, I, I would say is the less light part is, is the mathematical test. But let me tell you that this is basic knowledge that, that you have uh, coming, all of you coming uh, from the high schools uh, from India. It, it, you, you will know it's, it's basic. It's, it's, you know, basic knowledge of the high school uh, uh, mathematics. But why it's important to have? Because you know, at the university, you are going to study calculus, microeconomics, macroeconomics. So, so it's, it's important to, to have the basic knowledge. But of course, the score need to have 60% of the, the math test. And basically, why we are doing this again? Because at the visa interview, you can expect to have the math test. So we are helping you, you know, already kind of showing you what can be expected so it's it's very important so please remember it's four parts of the skype interview and this is uh, the the part of our application procedure okay now let's move a little bit to the payments what do we expect the uh, the all the students to to make so basically application fee the dormitory deposit the visa is assistance fee and health care insurance is mandatory to pay. Going back to again at the visa interview, you will be asked about health care insurance, about the dormitory, to show an agree to show a contract, sorry, a contract that you have a place to stay when you come. I have made I have made a calculation for you. If you are applying for a bachelor's program. Um, you will be paying about five, six thousand euros. And if a master, you are a master level applicant, as you can see on my slide, you will be paying about six, seven thousand euros. So this is 
to get into the university, to get your seat reserved, and to get a final acceptance letter. Um, uh, it's important to mention that the tuition uh, fee is basically for two semesters. So, so just to summarize basically the application procedure uh, 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 shortly, that we will need the uh, passport, the transcripts, and there, there is an app online application portal, very easy to use, where you can apply, then just upload your uh, transcript and uh, just fill out all the details. And once you do, we will check uh, the transcript, we will get back to you, invite you for the Skype interview. If the Skype interview went well, we will issue the conditional acceptance letter. And once you, you pay the fees, we will send you the final uh, admission letter as well that you can go to your visa interview with. Of course, if for any reason, the Skype interview, uh, it's, it's, it's not, not, not went well, did not go well. Of course, we will do, we will always let you know. So we are always, always communicating with our uh, students. Um, and now I need to mention to you that we also have an early bird discount. What does this mean for the February intake? As now we are at the February intake, if you apply for the university, you can get 10% discount of the entire first year tuition fee. So it's not by semester, it's the entire first year 10%. But the deadline is the middle of October, usually it's 15 by 15th of October. So let me just say some more words of the, why students like to choose Budapest Metropolitan University. First of all, it's important to mention we have um, a, a special approach, which is uh, called My Brand. It's a practice-based education or uh, education uh, platform, based practice-based orientation. Uh, we involve the students in the classroom teaching. So all the students are at its small classrooms and we involve our students. So we will involve you always in the education. And basically we are offering a whole day long training during your studies. Another catching point, which is, is it's very, very popular, is, the, um, is the basically called Erasmus Mobility Scholarship Program. I'm showing you first our top partner universities, who we are partnering with, which countries or cities you can be traveling to with this program. And I will show you in a minute what does this mean. So basically, uh, there is, a, there is a, an Erasmus scholarship program. So what does this mean? So if you come to, to, to Budapest Metropolitan and start your studies the first year, at your very first year, you can choose another language to study. So maybe I'm just giving you an example. You chose uh, to study German. Okay, let's say that um, you started to study German. This is absolutely free of charge, four times a week. So basically, after the first year, you can choose one of our partner universities in Germany and go there, but you will be paying the low fees of the Budapest Metropolitan University. Why physically? you will be in another European university, which normally charges a lot more for the tuition fees. And as it is a scholarship, let me show you that you will be receiving about 500 euros per month. Okay, I'm not saying that uh, you, you, you will be the, the queen of the, or the queen, king of the night, uh, you know, at, at, uh, at Germany or Italy or, or France, but it, it will be a nice pocket money for you. And what is really important to mention that all the credits can be collected and transferring back when you come back to Budapest Metropolitan University. So basically, we have 
two, over 200 partner universities. This Erasmus program is open for all of our international, all, all our international students. It's very important to mention because many universities in Hungary offering Erasmus only for, for Hungarian students. So we are offering and we do have a seat for you. So, so please take into consideration the Erasmus program. We also offer another program. This is for the tourism students. So whoever in choosing the, the tourism related programs, this program is basically happening in Miami, Florida, in the United States, basically at the Frenchman's Creek Golf Resort, as you can see. You will need a J1 visa. The, the best part is that if you graduated from tourism and you decided that after graduation, you would like to go to a traineeship program to the United States, you can stay in Budapest and get your visa in Budapest, the J1, and you do not need to travel back home and then uh, traveling for visa purposes. Um, students will be earning $8.25 per hour. Again, I'm not saying this is a fortune, but still, it's a very nice pocket money because nobody has to pay for food or accommodation. It's a one-year program, so please keep in mind. And when it ends, you can the, the, the last three weeks, you can travel around the United States or even you can look for jobs. So it, it, it's an amazing program. I, I, I really need to highlight that, that um, you have a, many, many opportunities uh, be, uh, participating in this traineeship program. So maybe as a summary, because I, I know that, um, that my time is, is, uh, is short, I'm running out of the time. So I would highlight that Budapest Metropolitan University offers uh, a lot of, lot of programs, scholarship for international students, you know, opportunities to go abroad, not, during, not only during the studies, but after the studies. We, we offer and we have all our help and resources to help finding a job after graduation. So, so it's important to mention that, that we do have all our resources for that as well, not only supporting you through your studies, but also after your studies, finding a job. So basically that, that was my presentation about Budapest, Hungary and, and, and why Budapest Metropolitan University. Thank you, Noga. That was wonderful. Very good presentation. Uh, actually, uh, I remembered most of it. If I could say that basically uh, one, uh, because you can, why students go abroad? Because you want international exposure and you can get a Northumbria degree at a cost of a Budapest Metropolitan University. That's one. So you are going to save a lot of money to this. Uh, plus there is a 25% discount. So you can take avail of this and get a Northumbria degree. That's one. Second, you want to travel to UK. After two years, you can travel to UK. You can get a degree from Northumbria University. And you will also be qualified for a post-study work in UK. So you can stay back in UK for two years. You can work in UK and you can get the benefit of uh, two countries. So multicultural exposure is something that you can definitely take benefit of. The sure benefit of that. Second, basically you have a lot of programs, uh, some offered for January, February intake, and uh, which includes your business programs, your hospitality programs. Those programs are available for the February intake and the design and those programs are available for, uh, as I said, are available for September as well as for February intake. Um, now, the, the second benefit that I could see from uh, uh, Budapest Metropolitan University is the Erasmus program that you have. A student can come to your campus and then take the benefit of going to some other university again and pay the Budapest Metropolitan tuition fees 
and also get 500 euros per month, which is basically a good 5,000 euros per year, which is equal to the tuition fees that you are going to pay for that program. So it's like as good as you're getting the program free, the tuition fee free. So that type of objective that you will have, uh, you can take this and uh, the stay back guarantee, which is of nine months, they have a placement service. Uh, they have other associations where they are talked about Miami, basically where you can go for hospitality program. So all those are very uh, USPs that I could get from uh, this presentation. Uh, and you also get a thumbs up from uh, Rosie Tennyson as well for the presentation. Thank you very much for that. Uh, now, a few things that I want to ask is basically, uh, one, uh, you also mentioned about the interview, the application process being very simple. You just have to provide transcripts. The student needs to have a passport. IELTS basically is not mandatory. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you are going to take an interview on the base of which you are going to evaluate the student's proficiency. Uh, there is a mass test, which is of, uh, let's say, basic 9th, 10th level of mass. The student can take practice and appear for this test. So uh, those are the things that you have already explained. What is important is basically uh, how long does the visa process takes? Usually what we have experienced uh, by, by the students that once uh, they get the visa interview, uh, the, the appointment, then it, it takes uh, either if they are not rejected, it, it takes uh, quite fast. Okay. So how easy or difficult it is get to get visa appointment? Mm -hmm. Right now with the pandemic, uh, I'm just asking this question again because the point, getting appointments do get sometimes difficult. Okay. Yes, yes. Honestly, what we experienced with the students, it, it was quite difficult getting the appointment for the visa interviews. But uh, now, uh, lately, the, the students who arrive now, they, they, they said that now it, it, it's a little bit better than, than, uh, than it was. So I think now it, it's starting to get uh, better again, as what we have experienced, yes, now. Perfect. Uh, there is an application fee. Uh, I was hoping you could waive it for our students who are participating in this webinar and who can apply to us. Is it possible by any chance? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, I can uh, even go. Yes, the the, the you mean the webinar, the ten percent off uh, on the top of the early bird uh, discount. Yes, and plus mm -hmm. the application fee of I guess uh, I forgot the application fee amount. Was it one fifty euros? Yes, it's one hundred fifty. Yes, it's one fifty. Can that be waived for our students? Oh, that that's mandatory for everybody to pay. That's by the yeah. Unfortunately, that that's the rule or the regulation from the university, so that that cannot be um, crossed lined. Okay. So if you are going to apply, probably you would get uh, uh, some uh, early bird discounts, and uh, uh, there's also a possibility of getting a thousand euros scholarship for the first thirty students. And then uh, for the next 42 students, uh, 500 euros uh, scholarship, right? For the yes. second year? Yes, exactly. Okay. So if I'm talking about 2,500 euros as a tuition fee for an undergraduate program, if I reduce 1,000 euros, then it becomes 1,500. If I'm talking yes. about 2,500 euros, I'm talking about roughly around, let's say, uh, uh, around 2 lakhs. 10, 20,000 rupees. So your basically uh, 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 your entire one year program would be, let's say, uh, around uh, four lakhs of rupees, four, four and a half lakhs of rupees, of which you can reduce basically one lakh and you can finish it in three and a half lakhs. So a good amount of saving can be done to this particular uh, concept of getting a scholarship or getting an early bird uh, discount. Uh, that is available. Um, Nora, one uh, last question that I want to ask is basically uh, about uh, uh, connecting with uh, you know students from the same country. Uh, if Indian students want to connect with Indian students, uh, is it possible? Uh, is there some option available? 
Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And upon arriving, we do host uh, for the students uh, uh, welcoming events. So they do meet there as well. We just basically had um, for the September intake this weekend, it was happening in, in one of the most beautiful parts of, uh, of uh, Hungary. So basically, yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Excuse me, Mr. Richard, can I yeah. ask? Uh, see, um, probably I have missed this part. Uh, Nora, uh, can you please tell me what is the medium of instruction uh, at the college? I mean, the, at the university. The the what? Sorry. Medium the of minimum. instruction is it English or some other language? Yes, no, it's English. It's English. Yes, Fine. English, thank English. Thank you, thank you, thanks a lot. So, Evin, and to everybody, the entire program, the course that was offered, the all programs are offered in English and not in the Hungarian language. So, the program is offered in English for the international students. It, Am I right, Nora? Yes, it's maybe just that I was mentioning that the students who come they can uh, start studying another uh, another language. So beside, yes, all the programs are held in, uh, uh, in English, but as I mentioned, the students can choose from another language. If their level of English is, 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 is minimum 5.5 as equals to IELTS, then they can decide that they can even study a different language, which it, it could be basically Swedish, German, Italian, French, even Hungarian, which, which is not chosen at all for, for, from experience. But, but yes, but they can start. And, and this means that uh, on free of charge, so they will be studying of course, uh, on uh, English uh, as, as the regular classes, but they can start uh, in other language free of charge four times a week. Perfect. So maybe that's why, uh, sorry, that uh, it's a confusion came that I was mentioning about, uh, about a different European language that they can start beside the, the, the classes. Perfect. So the entire program is in English. And if you want to learn an additional language, because you are in part of the Europe where you can learn, so you get that option of learning the second language at free, free of cost. Okay. Uh, thank you, Nora, for everything, you know, uh, for coming to Student University Webinar 4 and uh, for presenting uh, Budapest and for answering why Hungary. Uh, have a good weekend, Ed. Any last words that you want to tell to, our, to the audience here? Yes, absolutely. That uh, please <laughs> apply and come, and I'm here. I'm here to help. I'm also in contact with all the students who are coming uh, through our agents, so so you will be not left alone. It's I, I never let the hands of the students as well who come. <laughs> so so basically, you always have my uh, phone number if you are um, uh, coming to Budapest Metropolitan University, and, and I'm here to support you with everything. And thank you so much for inviting me. It was a pleasure, and, and I'm, I really appreciate that uh, I could be part of this uh, event today. And I hope that I will see you on, on, uh, on following events, and, and that I will see many of you <laughs> at, at uh, Budapest Metropolitan University. Thank you, Nora. Thank you very much. You know, it's always a pleasure uh, to see you and uh, to be, you know, I, we look forward uh, for you being participating in the Student University webinar in future as well. Thank you. You have a good weekend and uh, take care. Bye. Thank you so much. Same for you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank okay. you.